Hey everybody. I just kind of wanted to jump on real quick and hopefully try to do a short video and kind of explain to you um, what I'm doing with the wallpaper situation. So I think a couple people were confused when I said that I was painting over wallpaper. So um, I'm not just slapping paint up over wallpaper because that's not how this works. That's not how any of this works. Um, there is a huge technique on painting over wallpaper correctly. So after my kitchen fiasco of trying to take down the wallpaper and uh, spending an enormous amount of time on one section uh, trying to get the glue off, I started researching on techniques on how to get, um, how to paint over wallpaper. So I talked to um, two different people who actually paint for a living and kind of pulled techniques from each of them and that's what I use in the kitchen. So I was very happy with it, how everything turned out in there. So that's basically what I used in the living room, which doesn't have a ton of wallpaper in there. There was kind of just one area of the living room that had wallpaper and then the entryway. So I was very, very happy with how that turned out. And then um, Jason came and did the, um, the stairwell, which I'm happy we did pay to have that done because there was no way I was gonna be able to balance on a ladder and do all that. So now that all that's done, um, the dining room is the room that I've been dreading doing. So, um, because the kitchen and the living room were done, this to me is the next logical room to do because it's in between both of them. So, um, I want to kind of tell you how I've been, how I'm doing it. So if you're considering painting over wallpaper, um, this is the technique I'm use, using and, um, I'll be happy to help you or, you know, talk you through it. And Pinterest has a lot of really good tips and that's kind of where I pulled a lot of my stuff from and then got some other um, tips from the guys that are painters. So, um, the first thing that I did do um, is I got paintable caulking and what you need to do is you need to go through and anywhere you have um, like in a corner where the seams are, um, you can see it there where my line is. It's nice and bright and white. Um, all along your corners, um, all along your, um, the top of your ceilings, um, all along your baseboards. I did, um, all or along the window seals, anything like that. You're going to want to seal those in with the paintable caulking. Once you paint that, you're never going to see that. Um, if I just kind of smooth it down with my finger so it is nice and smooth and you will, you will never see that. You can look through my living room. Um, in the kitchen, you never see that line again. Um, the part that's, I think, a little bit harder to do is um, your seams on your walls. This room is going to be, um, there's another way to say it, but a real bitch to do because of this um, border. Um, I truly hate this border. Um, this border looks like it's solid, but when you actually get up, um, I'm on a ladder now, but when you actually get up on this border, um, each of these is actually, um, cut out. So it's not a solid border. So each one of these is going to have to be filled in with, um, basically joint compound so that it's sand, so that it's, um, a solid surface. So what I'm working on today is, is I'm going through and I'm filling in all along that border and doing all my seams with the joint compound. So I'm gonna go through and do this whole entire dining room, which is a big room with this joint compound and um, seal in this border and all my seams and then I'll go back through and hand sand all this so everything is nice and smooth and um, once that's done then I will go through and I will put a coat of um, oil-based primer on 
and then that will kind of seal everything in, seal that wallpaper down, seal it, everything will be sealed to the wall. So, um, hopefully, um, the wallpaper will not ever come off that wall and then I'll be able to paint. So, um, that's how I'm doing it. So far, so good. Uh, like I said, I'm two rooms and the stairwell down and I mean, everything and it looks really, really good. Uh, this, this is going to take me a while. I'm not going to lie. Um, obviously, I mean, I'm not a professional. Um, and you know, I, I easily get distracted and, uh, you know, talked to my mom on the phone like four times today. Um, so this is, this is going to take a little bit of time. I mean, I'm going to say it's probably going to take me a week and a half to paint this room. Um, but it is what it is and I'll get there. But, um, if anybody has any questions or you're thinking about painting over wallpaper, um, just shoot me a message, but I'll, I'll keep everybody updated. But I just wanted to let people know that I'm literally not just taking a paint roller and painting over wallpaper. Um, that there is a big process to, to doing that. But, um, thanks for all the positive, um, comments about the kitchen, um, and, uh, the stairwell. I'm really happy with the way the kitchen turned out. I think it looks amazing. And, um, I'll be posting more pictures. The living room's done. It's just kind of messy right now. Um, but, um, I'll, I'll be posting more pictures, but we have a lot of projects done. I just have, I just haven't posted them yet, but, um, we've been working really hard, but thank you guys. Bye.